boys and girls, it's story time with Pastor Tina. Welcome to Story Time. I am Pastor Tia Maldonado. Thank you for joining me today. We are going to read a book today about fathers. Fathers. Fathers are wonderful, and they are a reflection of our Father in Heaven. You know what the scripture says? That God the Father, He's a good, good Father. And He protects us. He's the good shepherd. He cares about us. It doesn't matter how small we are, whether we're rich or whether we're poor. God loves us all the same, and He's with us. And we're going to read this book today entitled, The Little Fathers. The Little Fathers. All the bear fathers were catching fish with their children. All the dog fathers were giving their children bones to chew. All the grasshopper fathers were jumping over their children. All the squirrel fathers were hiding nuts for their children. You know why they hide them? So they will have them to eat in the winter time. So those squirrel fathers are preparing to have dinner in the winter, perhaps in the fall. So they're looking at how to provide for their children. All the lion fathers were roaring with their children. All the monkey fathers were hanging out with their children. Here's a long one. All the giraffe fathers were helping their children Reach up high. All the bird fathers were bringing food to their children. All the horse fathers were leaping with their children. Nay! All the cat fathers were purring with their children. All the rabbit fathers were hopping home with their children. All the little fathers were putting their children to bed. That is the end. Fathers are valuable. Fathers are very helpful. There are some boys and girls that I know, they may have never met their father. And they only may know their mother. And it's really sad sometimes for that to happen. Sometimes the father may have passed away. And they've never had an opportunity to grow up long with them. That's really sad too. In that case, there's many things that happen. Sometimes there's a grandpa who steps in. And he becomes like that father. Maybe he's the pop pop. Or maybe he's the boppy. Or maybe he's just what you call dad, and that's okay. Maybe there's an uncle who steps in, or a neighbor, or just a family friend. However the Lord sees fit to add to your life. If it's not your natural biological father, maybe it's a stepfather, receive them. Receive them into your life because they're there to bless you, to protect you, to provide for you to help you, guide you in life. It may not be the father that you wish you had because maybe your dad's not there, but look at who the Lord has provided for you. And if you've not had that experience where you've had a grandfather or uncle or, or family friend who stepped in, you have God the Father, God the Father himself, who wants to be your father. So he will never leave you fatherless. And if you do have your father in your life, boys and girls, Celebrate your father. Love on your father. Your father needs encouragement just like you. Tell your father he's doing a great job. Tell your stepfather or your grandpa, someone who's in your life that provides for you, who guides you, who gives you wisdom, even corrects you. Tell them, thank you so much for being a father to me. Well, boys and girls, thank you so much for joining me today. I want to invite you to write me at storytime cicorlando.org. Send me your prayer requests. Send me your book recommendations. Send me a video or a picture of you watching Storytime so I can air it. 
I would love to show all the other boys and girls what you're doing while you're watching Storytime. Please write me at Storytime at CIC Orlando.org and be mindful that is an email address. So you're going to email me at Storytime at CIC Orlando.org and I would love to hear from you. We have a prayer request that came in from a little boy named David who's not feeling so well. He has something scratch him on his eye and it's causing it to be red and uncomfortable and he just wants us to pray for him. Will you join us today as we pray for him? Lord, thank you for the story that we have here today showing the different things that fathers do. Father, help us to see how fathers work in our life, even if it's not the ideal traditional father, maybe it's not our biological father, but different fathers who come into our life to help encourage us and protect us and lead us and guide us in wisdom, even correct us, Father God. I thank you, Lord, that you've always blessed us with a father or father figure in our life, Father. Your word says that you would never leave us fatherless and that you will cover and you will protect us. So, Lord, we know that you yourself are a good, good father. And we thank you for that, Lord. We just want to lift up David who wrote into us about the issue with his eye and how he doesn't feel too good because his eye was scratched, Lord. Touch his eye and, and heal him, Lord. We pray that he doesn't get any sort of infection or have any future complications with it, that his eye would just be healed in Jesus' name and he would be able to find rest and not be so uncomfortable. Lord, we also just want to pronounce a blessing over other little boys and girls. We want to pronounce a blessing over Iggy and Isabella. We want to also, Lord, lift up Candace and also um, Bertrand, Father God. I thank you, Lord, that you're doing great things in Jackie's life. And Lord, we just want to pronounce a blessing over Walter's life. Thank you so much for what you're doing in our lives today, Lord Jesus. Bless us and keep us. Protect us, Lord. You're a good, good father, and we know it. Thank you, Lord, for meeting us here every time on Story Time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. I can't wait to see you again. I hope you have a really, really good week. I am Pastor Tia Maldonado. God bless you, and good night. Thanks for watching.